COVID-19 has certainly had a wild impact on just about everything these days, certification exams are not an exemption to it. A lot of providers have been changing their exam policies or making extensions, and now Microsoft has done the same. Let's talk about it. Microsoft has extended the deadline for getting your MCSA, and that has a big impact on my opinion of whether or not you should get your MCSA or Azure. But before we get into that, let me say thanks for stopping by and checking out this channel. If this is your first time visiting and you'd like to grow your IT skills and your IT career, click that little subscribe button as well as the little bell to get notified when new releases come available. It's free. All right, MCSA, Microsoft, changing the certification game yet again. Recently, I posted a video talking about how the MCSA is dead, and it was, it was dead. They were going to retire it as of June this year, 2020. But now because of COVID-19 and the changes to all of our availability to study and take exams and the impact that it's having on the world, they have now decided to extend the deadline for getting your MCSA. And this changes my opinion on whether or not you should focus on the MCSA or Azure at this point. Let's take a look at it. So I've got my Twitter account pulled up here and you see right here on March 26th, I tweeted that MCSA is extended. I'll click on the link and we'll bring up the little documentation, little blog post that they've given us here. So this post is a big deal because they did more than just extend the MCSA. I definitely would encourage you to check out this blog post. I'll put the link in the description so you can check it out. But right here, this is the key factor. Retirement of the MCSA, D and E have been extended. You can see right here, they've extended it to January 31st, 2021. Now that's a huge deal. Also, if you had a role-based certification that was expiring this year, they have extended it to March 30th, 2021 as well. So you've got some extra time to renew your Azure certifications. I personally think this is a big deal because now we've gone from basically three months to get our MCSA to now almost 10 months to get our MCSA. And that may be possible if you're starting out from scratch. The MCSA is three really large, really challenging exams, but with 10 months dedicated study time, especially if you're in quarantine with nothing else to do, now this is a possible achievement for you to get. And I think it would be beneficial to do too, because like I said earlier, I don't think Windows Server is going away just because the certification exams are going away. I think businesses are going to want to see your ability to manage, administer, and engineer Windows Server environments for years to come. I know me as a hiring manager, I'm going to want to see those skills. So even if you don't have the certification, I still may bring it up as a technical interview because it's part of our infrastructure. Hybrid environments are going to exist for a long So am I saying don't go for Azure? Absolutely not. Azure is the future and this MCSA will go away at some point. But until then, I think it's beneficial for you if you were if you were really dialed in and focused on getting that MCSA and you were upset that they're taking it away, well now here's a chance for you to re-up and get that certification. So MCSA, now it's possible. I think it's something that you should do, but do know that it is going to be a challenge. 10 months is still kind of limited to tackle these three major exams. If you broke them up three months each and really dedicated, really labbed, really did the practice exams, well, then you've got a chance at it. Check out CBT Nuggets for this content too. When I got my MCSE, I used the CBT Nuggets for my studying purposes. I watched the videos, I read the books, I took the practice exams provided by CBT Nuggets, and then I labbed it using the virtual labs provided by CBT Nuggets also. So the MCSA is back, sort of, and I think it's gonna be encouraging to use this time now to tackle this exam while you still have a chance. So that's been my take on it. Thanks for stopping by, y'all. See you in the next one.